I was, uh, my father was a, a co-op um, director, so I was born and raised on a farm and we had co-ops for breakfast and dinner. And, well, I worked in a local food co-op when I was in high school. And then when I went to college, I decided that cooperatives was a career I wanted to pursue. And uh, from there, it just uh, burgeoned into uh, opportunities, uh, both here and abroad, that uh, fit right into that cooperative uh, context. I think the whole business of the democratic control just was permeated it, uh, and that the people were working to help each other by being part of the co-op. Well, the Cooperative League, with which I, uh, after my experience in farm credit, I went with the Cooperative League and uh, attended the first conference of Inter-American Inter -American Conference of Cooperatives in Bogota, Colombia, and uh, then realized that uh, there was a movement worldwide where people were yearning for the, the method of solving some of their problems. And so I spent quite a bit of my time uh, when I was with the Cooperative League uh, facilitating cooperative development in other countries. Uh, we had contracts with the Peace Corps. We had about four Peace Corps teams working in Latin America and Asia. The director of the International Cooperative Alliance is here this, this weekend. Um, I was on the board of the International Cooperative Alliance for 15 years and uh, so had the opportunity to, fortunate opportunities I don't know any other young fellow had, uh, to uh, learn about, maybe um, participate in and maybe influence somewhere along the line uh, what cooperatives in the world might do. We were very much involved in the organization of a hemispheric organization of cooperatives and Having been in Ecuador as a, a international farm gas exchange program uh, representative, I knew a little bit of Spanish, so I was the designee to, to get involved in that sort of thing. And uh, so it was, it all fit together very easily. Mm -hmm.